So this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this. It's more of an uh, idea showing, because I'm sure you can figure out how to, how to do this yourself. Um, so this is how I store my DJI FPV drone. So this is a regular backpack. This one is from Decathlon, but you can get it, you know, similar size anywhere. They're cheap. It's like 30 bucks. So cool. And then inside, I have the drone laid out like this. The drone has the battery already in it. There's the remote. And here, there's the glasses. Uh, I also printed, and you should too, um, a cover for the lenses because if you expose the lenses to the sun, um, even just for a minute, it might burn the LCD inside. So yeah, don't. So always keep it covered. And this is always also handy. I'll, I'll put the link for um, the box, uh, the cover and the battery holder down in the doogly doo and you can and you can print them yourself um, This really helps to have the goggles and the battery in the same unit So you don't have to you know be fumbling around with um, with cables or anything. So back to the um, The construction of this thing. This is really simple. So I changed uh, this box design so it could fit the, um, the battery inside um, but other than that, you can go on Thingiverse and download it and print it yourself. This is the foam padding that comes inside the box already with your drone. And this is where the goggles uh, used to be stored. They stored them without the, the antennas. But it's a really big hassle to be removing and putting the antennas back uh, every time you want to fly the drone. Uh, so what I did was, uh, over here in the um, goggles compartment, I did two holes. I made two holes using an X-Acto knife so that now I can get the remote to fit inside really secure and really snug and without having to remove the, the thumbsticks. Um, then I did nothing to the drone uh, placement. It fits like this, like really snug too. Um, so what I did was I put a, a sheet of uh, foam between the, the original foam and uh, the box and I glued it all together. So it's uh, one piece easy to insert and remove from the, um, from the backpack. Also you can see you have space right here, even with the drone in. Uh, if you have uh, more batteries, you can store one on one side and one on the other side. Uh, so storing um, the goggles is also super easy. You just put them in, get the battery in place, and put the Shrek's head. I just realized it looks like Shrek. <laughs> it's funny. Um, and then you get the whole assembly, and you put it inside the backpack. There you go very light you can get a good um, comfortable backpack which is awesome in the case of this one there's also there's also uh, this little compartment which is handy to hold the props in here I have the cables the connections uh, for the USB-C OTG cable and all of that crap and on the bottom, there's also a place where I can store the power brick. Um, so yeah, this works for me. And if you're wondering, oh, dude, you have a $1,500 drone and you can't even buy a backpack, blah, blah, blah. Dude, I'm not giving no $200 for a backpack for, for carrying the drone. I, I don't like to pay the high price of the drone either. The thing is, if I want this drone, there is no other way to get it than to pay the price that it costs. I can't make one myself. But if I can make something myself, I'm not spending the extra money. It doesn't make any sense. And this, this system it works, works really well. Um, so yeah, I hope it gave you an idea. All you need is um, some glue 
an exacto knife and things you have laying around and obviously a 3d printer uh but even if you don't have one i'm sure one of your friends has a 3d printer so just download the um, the files and, and have it printed um yeah cheers <laughs>